in this video we are going to go through some of the basics of using um, VI which is our standard text editor uh, which we can preferably learn to use instead of nano if we if we so desire so um, to get started with VI uh, we just type VI space whatever the file name is we want to create I'm going to call it example underscore file because I'm feeling really creative we hit enter and we get an empty file with a whole bunch of tildes down the left hand side and those tildes just in indicate completely unused lines. When we start out with VI uh, it doesn't start with uh, it doesn't start in what's called the insert mode which allows you to insert characters it starts with edit mode allowing me to edit things. The catch is at the moment there's nothing there to edit. So to start off by typing things I push escape and then I and now I can start typing. Um, I'm going to need to get rid of all that garbage that I just typed and in order to do that I change to delete mode and I can go escape and then the letter X and keep pushing X and it will delete everything that is on that line. If instead I wanted to delete that entire line I can push escape and then the letter D twice and that will delete the entire line. And then if I want to go back and type something that's not nonsense I push escape and I once again. I go, Hello class of Angular 110. Enter. For enter it'll give me uh, another empty line. If I keep pushing enter it'll give me more. Uh, but there's also another way to create new lines which is to push escape and then the letter O and that will always create a new line. So if I go and into insert mode and type nibbly pig, uh, he says trying to use the escape key. Um, turn back to insert mode escape go back to insert mode and type um, nibble nibble and go nibble and then go escape move there and then push escape and O that will add a new line even though my cursor was midway through the previous line um, a few other things that are particularly useful is that uh, I can also very easily undo anything that I have done and I do that by pushing escape key and then the letter U for undo. That will undo the last action and I push escape and undo again that will redo the last action. So you can't easily go, go back more than one undo but you, it is pretty easy to do that one undo. Um, if I want to copy a line then I push escape and I move my cursor to the appropriate line and escape and then Y and Y so two letters Y will copy that line and then I can move my cursor to a different line and the escape P command will paste that line if I keep pushing escape P it will keep pasting that line if I don't want to copy the entire line if I want to copy a specific word let's say this one down here I push escape and then Y and W for copy word move to the appropriate location and let's put it up here and then use the P key to place that word again nibbly 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 um, the last thing that we might want to do conceivably is to exit the file and there are multiple different ways to to exit um, a VI file. The first and most common is that you're going to want to exit and save your changes. In that case you push escape and then a capital letter Z twice. There we go and we've exited that file. To reopen it I can go VI and the name of the file one more time. Um, if I want to exit it a slightly different way, let's say I want to exit it without saving changes or I want to save my changes and not exit the file, I need to go into command mode. So I push escape and then I type a colon and you'll see the cursor's moved down to the bottom left of the screen. It means it's waiting for particular inputs. So to quit without saving changes, I type the letter Q and then an exclamation mark and I hit enter. So that's escaped without any changes. If instead I want to write my changes to a file and not exit, I hit I, I hit escape and then colon once again and W. As you see, this will, this will add all my changes to the file, but it will not um, quit it after that. If I wish to save and quit, it's WQ, and that's it. It's the basics of VI.